Hello and welcome to the Asian Development Tour and a welcome return to Vietnam for the BRG Open Golf Championship in Da Nang. The inaugural event in 2022 broke new ground for the tour visiting Vietnam for the very first time, but we are back for an eagerly anticipated second edition. Once again, the world-class destination that is Da Nang Golf Resort plays host. Located on the coast, it boasts two 18-hole courses designed by Greg Norman and Jack Nicholas. It's the Nicholas course that we call home this week. At over 7,300 yards, the past 72 layout is sure to provide a stern test with water featuring on every single hole. The region is home to several quality golf courses and the event coincides with the Da Nang Tourism Festival. It's one of the biggest events that the country's seen. This year we've increased the prize fund, we've got a deeper field. Uh, the golf course is, is in the best condition it's ever been in. It's a tremendous uh, championship challenge. I think it's a significant event for the region, not just for Vietnam. This event is very important to promote Da Nang City Vietnam and we very much welcome all the golfers around the reason and the world coming to Da Nang to enjoy golf and uh, enjoy the uh, smiling destination. It's the sixth event of the ADT season and the man in form is Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, whose win last time out in Indonesia took him to the top of the order of merits. He was paired with Naraji Ramadan Putra for the first two rounds, the Indonesian looking for his second win of 2023. Kevin Akbar is also a winner and Sandu's closest rival in the order of merit standings. A full field of 144 players were chasing the trophy and this week's enhanced prize purse of 100,000 US dollars. The order of merit makes an interesting read as we edge into the second half of the ADT season. After two weeks back-to-back -back in Indonesia, it's Sandu who leads the way. Five Thai players currently occupy the top 10, all of whom will earn full playing rights on the Asian Tour next year. The competition is fierce and the list is certain to change. 54 holes to decide our champion and it was Dayan Lawson who led the way after the first two rounds. The Aussie followed up his opening 68 with a flawless 6 under 66 on day two. The course is just a really, really good golf course. So if you're playing well, you'll score pretty well, I believe. So um, just need to just keep hitting good shots. And there's no real let up out there. So you've got to keep sort of um, being aggressive and um, be aggressive to safe spots, I guess. So all set up for an exciting final day here in Da Nang and a real international look to the leaderboard. Lawson to clear of Justin Kiban of the Philippines and a former ADT Order of Merit champion, Japan's Naoki Sekito. First round leader Joe Herity of England is a shot further back. The rest of the chasing pack, well, they're hoping for something special in this final round. So a very warm welcome to the BRG Open Golf Championship here in beautiful Da Nang. I'm Timothy Lowe, wonderful to have your company along for these final round highlights. Well, thankfully, absolutely no chance of rain this afternoon. Slightly partly cloudy skies and a little bit breezy as well. So let's keep you up to speed with what's happened already in this final round. Day and Lawson, he started well after a part the opening hole. This was his approach to the par four second. And he would go on to convert that for a birdie to extend his lead to three. Not such a good start though for Justin Kibban. He found the water on the third. This en route to a double bogey as he would give up precious ground at the top of the leaderboard. Up ahead, former Asian Tour winner Carlin Joshi was starting to make a bit of a move. He picked up a birdie at the fourth and another here at the sixth to get himself up to four under par. Australian Aaron Wilkin had a great start. This birdie putt at the fourth was followed by another at the fifth. 
and that would put him three under for the card and six under for the championship. Joe Herity also got back into the mix, holding out for Eagle at the par 5 sixth. The Englishman back to seven under with one of the shots of the day. Things got really interesting when Dayan Lawson found trouble at the fourth. He would go on to make a bogey and another would follow at the fifth. So this is how things stood after the early stages of play. Lawson up by one over Naoki Sekito. Six straight pars for the Japanese player. Herity at seven under par with Wilkin a further shot back. Justin Kiban four over par for his final round. So Aaron Wilkin looking to continue that wonderful start to this final round. His second shot into the eighth. Oh, off the TV tower and good thing it did. This penalty area working through the back of the green. Now Lawson in amongst the shrubs left to the seventh. Sounded like that was good, clean contact. Needs to bend this one quite a bit, and what a shot that is from Dayan Lawson. Trouble up the left-hand side. But the big Aussie safely finds the dance floor. Now, younger brother of former Asian Tour Order of Merit champion, Gavin Green. This is Galvin Green. Now, very nicely judged there for the Malaysian. Naoki Sekito never really managed to kick off after winning the Asian Tour, Asian Development Tour Order of Merit title some years ago, I should say, but he's scrambling well. That's going to be a seventh par in the row for the Japanese player. Now, Wilkin, after that great break off the back of the TV tower, it's even better. It's gone in for a birdie three. Goodness me. He is rocketing up this leaderboard, the Australian. Now, Lawson. This one's a slowish putt coming up the hill. Should go a little from his right. Oh, gave that a bit of a run. Yeah, certainly want to stick a coin on that. Yeah. The opening round leader, Englishman Joe Herity at the par 3 ninth. He's keeping a keen eye on this one, and for good reason, straight over the top of the flagstick, but just settles onto that slightly higher level. Now, Kiban. How expensive is that double bogey going to be for the Filipino? He's had a pair of doubles already. He is fighting back bravely. That's a lovely shot. Now, Andy Zhang. Bunkered at the par 3 ninth, Playing alongside Herity. Lots of green to work with. And he'll take full advantage. Should be a cast iron par there for Andy. Now, he didn't go on to make that comeback of a par at the 7th. Lawson off the straight and narrow again here at the 8th. Ooh, is that bunker to bunker for Day and Lawson? Now, this one's going to be pretty quick for Joe Herity. Slippery one, straight down the hill. Well, it's trundling on, but that should be manageable for the Englishman. Waste area here, just short of the eighth green. As long as the lie's okay, Dan Lawson should be able to get good control on this. Settle down, settle down. Ooh, and that's a little bit longer than the par putt he had back on seven, which he negotiated with ease. Now Herity to tap in for his par at nine, so seven under par at the turn is second to the tenth. That's at least a club and a half short for Joe. Now, Kiban, can he try to find a birdie here at eight? Oh, yes, he can. Well done. 
Good finish on the Asian Tour at the DGC Open. The start of the season. He's playing nicely, Justin Kiban. Long fried over from the St. Andrews Bay Championship last week on the Asian Tour. Now Lawson for par. Oh, well done. That was the putts you need to hold. If you want to win golf tournaments, pressure-packed par putts in the final round. Now, no easy two-putt for Herity at the 10th. Coming up and over a little mound from the front edge of the green. All about pace, this one. And he has judged the pace superbly. Now, Kivan going to try and keep that momentum going. Tee shot at the ninth, pins that front section of the green. Can he use that backstop? It's about six paces long. Oh no, keep it underneath the hole. Super shot there from Kiban. Now, first look of the day. Ireland's Kevin Phelan. This for par at 10. Oh, just strays offline. Now, Lawson has a birdie look for a change. It's going to be a ticklish one down this slope. We saw Herity roll it a couple of feet by earlier. It's looking good. Oh, just falls off at the end for Lawson. But that's going to be a first stress-free par he's made in some time. Now Kiban for back-to-back -back birdies to get himself up to six under. Oh, hello. Grab just enough of the cup. Couple of birdies there, and keeping Justin Kiban in the title picture. Well, it's getting tight at the top. Do stay with us to see how the back nine plays out. Lawson leads the way. It's Sikito within one with Wilkin and Herity. Further shot back. Welcome back to the sixth event of this season's Asian Development Tour. The Nicholas Course at Danang Golf Resort is the setting for this year's BRG Open Golf Championship. So let's catch up with the action as the players start their back nine. Well, Justin Kiban, unfortunately, after that great couple of birdies at eight and nine, he would slip out of contention with back-to-back -back double bogeys on 12 and 13 after finding one of the many penalty areas around the Nicholas course. Aaron Wilkin continued to preserve his momentum. That was a great par save at the 13th. Unfortunately, the man who was on the par train slipped off with a bogey at the 11th. Sekito back to one over par for his final round. And after his early wobbles, Dayan Lawson found some birdies hard to come by. He was rattling seven straight pars off to keep himself at nine under par. So Lawson, a shot clear of Wilkin. Herity and Sakizo back at seven under par. The rest truly needing something special to flip the script. Now, hottest man of the golf course, Aaron Wilkin. He's reached the short 15, only 328 yards. But danger lurks all around here at the Nicholas course. He's staying aggressive. Oh, green high. And he's left it in a great spot there. He's thinking three. Now, Kiban sliding down the leaderboard. Three doubles on the card already today. Second shot into the 14th, trying to use that slope. Come on down. Come on down. Oh, wonderful shot there for Kiban. Now, Wilkin left it in a decent spot, but that's a bit of a fluffy chip, and he's running to mark that because there is a runoff shot right of this green. Yeah, he gets there just in time. Now, Lawson downhill slider, moving off the left to start making something just for that confidence and oh how's that one stayed out 
And Ian Lawson, he can scarcely believe it. Well, Wilkin started the day seven shots back, but he's got this to tie the lead. Oh, and he is rolling the rock beautifully. He can't miss today, the Australian. He's up at nine under par. And alongside Dan Lawson, three clear of opening round leader Joe Herity. And Lawson in the greenside bunker with his tee shot at 15. Be landing on a down slope. Should kick the ball a little right. Standing back on 15T, you're thinking three with this short par four. He's given himself a chance. Now Herity hit at the par three 16th. Club face wide open. And, ooh, just did not carry that far enough. Kills it in the slope. Now come on, Dayan. To get himself up to 10 under par. Finally. One drops for Dayan Lawson. He moves one clear once again. Now, Neuki Sekito. For his birdie at the 15th. Playing alongside Lawson in the final group. Yeah, well done. Uh, needs to hold this and somehow find a fast finish to have any sort of chance, Joe Herity. Oh, it took a little wobble about two feet off. You can see it. He's pointing to that spot, and that effectively ends his run. But hey, saw some crazy things last year on the 18th hole. Who's to say we won't see it again here in 2023? Now trails by one, Aaron Wilkin. Go, go. Oh, just a little tentative. Going from Brisbane, he's only won a drift. And he knows anything can happen, particularly with that par 5 18th now. Lawson on 16T. Don't want to miss it left here. Can kick off into a bit of a fiddly spot. Yeah, good safe shot to the heart of the green. He alluded to it in his interview earlier. Aggressive swings at conservative targets. That was well executed there. Now Andy Tang to get himself back into red figures ahead at 17. Oh, nicely done for Andy. So this is going to be up and over a little mound. Slow to start. It starts to speed up when he gets to the hole. You can see the green change there. All down green for him is it. Gets to the hole, and that needs to take a chair. Goodness. Oh, stay on the green. My word, he is flummoxed there. As are the spectators. That was a little clumsy from Day and Lawson, who's now got a lot of work to do to stay in the solo lead. Oh, that never really had a chance, did it? So, things are once again... Tied at the top of the leaderboard. Now, Sapatak Tawa for a lovely round of 68. Now, nicely done, a birdie at the last. Good closing round of 68. Sapatak post six under par in the clubhouse. Surely that's not going to be enough, not with Lawson and Wilkin at nine under. Lawson into 17. All over it, just a firm first bounce. Gets it to grab nicely. Who's going to blink first? Wilkin has played some sublime golf this week. He's laid up on 18. So looking to find a four the old fashioned way. He's given himself every chance. Wonder if that putt on 16 is playing in the back of his mind. This one up and over. A little slope as well for Day and Lawson. That was a very poor stroke. And a poor read as well from Day and Lawson. Now Wilkin to set 10 under par as the clubhouse target. He's got it. A closing round of 65. The gauntlet has been thrown down by the Australian 
brilliant play in this final round. Aaron Wilkin says 10 under par is the number to beat here in Da Nang. Just a little tiddler for Lawson's part on the penultimate hole. Okay. He needs a four at the last to send us into a playoff for the second year in a row here in Da Nang. Now, Herity for his birdie at 18. This would put him at six under par alongside Talawa, but it's just going to be a five. Well, he needs four. A three, well, that would clinch it outright. He'd take a four. Now, oh, Andy. Finish at two under par. Oh, centre cup. It's a good finish there for Andy Tang. Birdie, birdie to end. Now Lawson. He's only got a long iron up. He's looking a long way right. That pin's tucked tight to the penalty area on the left. Trying to rope one in off the front edge of the green, but it's staying pretty straight. Oof. He clears that front bunker. He's got room to work with, but he has to get that one up and down to force extra time here at the BRG Open Golf Championship. Well, can throw it out a little bit right. Open up that club face. Try to release that right hand under the ball. There's a slope that starts to feed the ball down there. Keep going. It's got it. It's not bad. It's a little bit closer than where Wilkin hold his putt for birdie, and he's going to need it this time. So this to send us into a playoff in Vietnam. Oh, heartbreak for Day and Lawson. Putter has betrayed him in this final round. 73 for Day, and this one's going to sting for a while, but jubilation for Aaron Let's Wilkin. Go! <laughs> a winner on the Asian Development Tour. He'll Let's move himself go! inside the top 10 on the Asian Development Tour, order of merit. Top 10 at the end of the season, earn lucrative Asian tour cards for the 2024 season. <laughs> Well played, Aaron Wilkin. That closing 65, good enough for a one-shot victory over Dayan Lawson. Sakito and Talwa will share third. Good week's work for Galvin Green, finishing inside the top five. But the man of the moment, it's Aaron Wilkin, our champion here in Dana. I was just trying to make as many birdies as I could, but obviously the more I made, the more I kind of realised I was probably close. Um, and I kind of thought that the last putt meant something, which I probably, in hindsight, it'd be nice to just just hit the putt and not get so nervous, but I was sort of shaking and I just tried to go back to my routines and yeah, it's, I don't know how it went in. It looked in the low side, so. Well, that win for Wilkin rockets him up to fifth place on the order of merit with Sandu still leading the way. Don't forget the top 10. We'll get that all-important full card for the Asian Tour in 2024. Still plenty of golf left to be played on the Asian Development Tour this season with stops in Indonesia and Malaysia and the grand finale still to come. It's been a terrific week and event and everyone will certainly look forward to coming back to Da Nang in 2024. Tôi nghĩ rằng là năm nay là lần thứ hai đã chúng tôi đã thành công ở một cái bước cao hơn và tôi hy vọng rằng là năm 2024 sẽ là một mùa một giải BRG Open Champion Đà Nẵng có nhiều thành tựu xuất sắc hơn nữa và thành công hơn nữa. Well, thank you for your company. A brilliant <laughs> tournament that went down to the wire. Many congratulations, Aaron Wilkins. We are going to take a short break before the tour heads back to Indonesia and the OB Golf Championship at the end of September. Stay in touch at asiantour.com. Until next time, this is Timothy Lowe saying bye-bye for now.